Welcome or welcome back, Cyber Explorers. It's Alfie, and in this video we'll explore together with this step-by-step -step guide, how to uninstall Ventor from USB drive, HDD, SSD. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Method 1. Delete all data and partitions using Ventoy. Open Ventoy to disk and under device. Ensure that the correct device you want to uninstall Ventoy from is selected. Then click on option and select clear Ventoy. After confirming by clicking yes, the device will be formatted and all data will be lost. Finally, format the USB drive, HDD or SSD, and it will return to its normal state. Method 2. Delete all data and partitions using disk part. Go to the start menu or search bar and search for CMD. Right click the command prompt and choose run as administrator. Then type disk part and hit enter. Next type list disk and hit enter. Identify the disk you want to clean. In my case, it's disk 2. Then type select disk 2 and hit enter. In my case, it's disk 2. For you, the number might be different. So make sure to choose the correct disk number. Then type clean and hit enter. This will delete all the data and partitions on the selected disk. Finally type exit and hit enter. Now go to the start menu or search bar and search for disk management. Identify the disk you just cleaned. It will be shown as unallocated. Right click on the unallocated space and choose new simple volume. Then click on next for times and finally finish. Note that you can change the volume label the volume letter, and the file system, etc., if you want to, before clicking on Next. Method 3. Delete Specific Partition Let's say you have installed Ventoy on a drive, and created a space at the end of that drive for data storage, and you want to only delete the VTOY EFI partition and the Ventoy partition while keeping the preserved partition at the end of that drive. Go to the Start menu or search bar, and search for CMD. Right click the command prompt and choose run as administrator. Then type disk part and hit enter. Next type list disk and hit enter. Identify the disk you want to delete a partition from. In my case, it's disk 2. Then type select disk 2 and hit enter. In my case, it's disk 2. For you, the number might be different, so make sure to choose the correct disk number. Then type list partition and hit enter. Identify the partition or partitions you want to delete. In my case, it's partition 1, which is the Ventoy partition, and partition 2, which is the VTOY EFI partition. Then type, select partition 1 and hit enter. In my case, it's partition 1. For you, the number might be different, so make sure to choose the correct partition number. Then type, delete partition and hit enter. This will delete all the data on the selected partition. Now type, Select Partition 2 and hit Enter. In my case, it's Partition 2. For you, the number might be different, so make sure to choose the correct partition number. Then type Delete Partition and hit Enter. If you get a Can't Delete a Protected Partition Error message, then type Delete Partition Override and hit Enter. Finally type Exit and hit Enter. Now go to the Start menu or search bar and search for disk management. Identify the disk from which you just deleted the partition. It will be shown as unallocated. Right click on the unallocated space and choose new simple volume. Then click on next for times and finally finish. Note that you can change the volume label, the volume letter and the file system, etc. if you want to before clicking on next. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing. And don't forget to activate the notification bell so you won't miss out on any new uploads. Thank you for watching, and I can't wait to share more with you. So, until next time, see you later.